Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, April 5th, 2021. The tarot card for today is the Queen of Swords from the Cosmic Cycles Tarot by artist Miriam E.G. And before I continue, I just want to say, uh, those of you who are listening on TikTok, you can listen in full on Podbean, YouTube, Instagram, Triller, and even follow me for free on Patreon. Now, I gotta tell you, if you've been with me for a while, you are familiar with this Queen of Swords. And she got quite the reputation for always showing up next to or on a new moon and occasionally a full moon. But <laughs> she really, you know, brought a lot with her to those moons. However, her her function with us has changed and now we're we're six days away from the Aries new moon and I do believe that she is here to help you get to that new moon and I will let you know when that particular guidance is available for you now there's a few things going on here today so you know let's talk about them the moon is finishing up in Capricorn but by the time those of you at least where I'm at are headed to work it the void is over and it's in Aquarius all right very fitting for this Queen and uh, several aspects couple aspects are going on here today one is moon conjunct Pluto and it happens pretty early and hopefully you don't feel it as much because you know this is the side where you know I hate to say it but her you know that oomph that she has and the way that she can be can come out so um if you are someone who reacts maybe a bit too overboard to things yeah all right keep her in mind because she maintains control of her emotions she doesn't let them get in the way of what she needs to do so you know moon conjunct pluto can actually bring up those feelings and you know the moon is emotional in and of itself so you know be careful how you feel because sometimes you know what you're thinking or you know what you're intuitively thinking is going on may not be the case all right with pluto there tends to be that you know looking for something more you know and things like obsession and jealousy and this queen has no tolerance for bs all right that's why she's got that sword she just she is here to clear your path to the new moon not for anything else so there's no time for negativity and you need to keep that out of the equation today the moon will also be in a sextile with mercury in mid-afternoon here and you know i gotta tell you because you've got the moon in aquarius but mercury is in aries and i see that and i see this queen and i'm like just you know be smart about what you say all right because this is a rather um i want to say conversational type aspect that's going on with the moon and mercury but with mercury being in aries at the moment there is the bluntness that could be associated with this queen and you may want to temper that a little bit okay soften it up all right intelligence is one thing to bring to the conversation but you got to remember the queen of swords can be a mean girl and i know one of these days i'm going to start calling out the mean girls that show up in my uh, facebook news feed because <laughs> there, there's just no need for it especially if you're a grown individual you know we live in a society where it, this is not necessary at this time and it's important to start you know getting rid of that kind of an outlook i think that you can use this to your advantage all right you gotta remember queen of swords she's a highly intelligent individual all right there's a lot of thought that's going on here and leaves the emotional part that has to do with the moon out of the equation okay so if you can do that 
if you can speak with intelligence today and use the aspects to your advantage to engage others in conversation, you could be setting yourself up for something really nice. You have to remember sometimes the outcome of what you're doing doesn't come on the same day. Could take a month, could take two but it's kind of putting something in place here and i think that that's what you need to remember so your your mental um capacity outlook on things is what's going to be your driving force today and this is the queen to help you do it i'm glad that she's not here at the new moon shows me that she's not in mean girl mode and she's not you know lashing out at people so take this opportunity to use those thought processes and engage people who matter in intelligent conversation. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.